so this is my newest little rescue that my housekeeper's friend found um, just lost in the streets next to a really, Yeah, let's, really... see, let's see what happened to him before she found him and uh, how he got lost. Okay. And he says that you call him different names, not just one. This is true. And he says he loves all of them. He's never had so many names as he has now. It's true. And he loves it because you take him everywhere with you and everybody makes a big fuss of him. That's true. So before he said this lady found him, and he said he was in a bit of a mess with his hair. But he was all matted. Yeah, he said, I was in a bit of a mess with my hair, were you, sweetheart? And um, he said that, uh, and then he said that uh, you, you came, you came and you took him. And before then, he was with um, an older couple. He was with an older couple and, oh, I think one of them had to go either into hospital or something. And they left the door open and he got out and then he was completely lost and he was very worried about himself but he's also telling me that the eye happened after he came to you right and he said a very nasty dog did it yes jumped on him and just his eye got infected her eye got infected and we didn't she didn't get to the vet in time so okay so he said what's the difference between a he and a she so let me tell him let me tell her rather Oh, <laughs> oh, she said, I tell him she, I'm telling her she'd like her mum, Helen. And he said, everybody, and I'm so happy because you don't go anywhere without him, but without her, you don't go anywhere without her, and she uh, share, you share food with her sometimes, and if you get something when you're travelling, you give her a little bit, and she thinks she's quite a good eater. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sometimes she does eat so much that I'm afraid that she's, I mean, I think it's too much. I think she gorges. But she said that she'd never had food. She only ever had dry dog food before, and now she's having all these delicious, delicious things. And she loves chicken, she says. Oh, yeah, that's her favorite. And you give her chicken, and she loves it. And you've told her that she's going to be with you forever and ever. That's and true. you think she's a bit older than she is, and she's asking me what is age. <laughs> so I tell her, I'll tell her what age is. Well, she's going to hang on for as long as she can, she says, because she's so happy. And she loves all your children, loves them all. And they all make a fuss of her, it's and they true. all hold her, and they all kiss her, and they all think she's the most wonderful dog in the world. It is and true. And then she's got Izzy, her friend, she says. Yeah. We mustn't leave you out, Izzy, must we? And Izzy's very good with me, and she's not a nasty dog like the other one was. <laughs> And she's very kind to me, and she's very, very, very special. <laughs> Izzy, we know you're special. You've got your own Facebook, haven't you, Paige? And she dresses up very nicely, and sometimes you dress her up. That's true. And she said she loves being dressed up, and her and Izzy, when did you take a picture of them together? Um, all the time. Oh, loves it. And she said, Izzy's not at all jealous of her. No. And I'm not jealous of Izzy, she said. She's my <laughs> dearest friend. <laughs> you are such a good mama, you are. So now we know all yeah. about your history. It's a good mama to his baby. Darling. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Kisses. because Courtney and Catherine didn't know if he was a girl or a boy. D then nobody knows. You get so many people that have birds and, then, and they don't even know what they are. And then for Hi, years... Do you want to meet Holly? What's that, he said. Um. <laughs> What's that? It's a little tiny dog. Is it a cat? No, it's not a cat, Holly. It, it's a little dog. He's pretty, he says. He's pretty. Oh, he loves it, Aunt Helen, because we're in here. I know. He loves it because we're in well, here. Well, he used to have, he had a friend, and then we didn't know who was who, boy or girl, and uh, yeah, he's still, they started he's still having, grieving. they had eggs, and then yeah. for years the eggs never hatched. And then one day, my daughter's years, they came, the, the egg hatched, so they had a baby. Whoa. And then she, 
then that little family lived to, for probably 10 years, and then one day the baby died and the mama died. Yeah, he's still grieving from it. And he wants to know when you're getting him another bird, and he'd like one that looked just like his mate. Oh, look, I think he likes the um, uh, He camera. loves it because we're so, <laughs> he's so happy we're here. He gets very lonely, he said. And he but we have a TV everybody. for him right here, see? Yes. So they have a TV, he's a TV and movies. And when we, when his little family was alive, they would all sit up on that little and watch know, it. And they watch, they get real excited. So we try to do like Madagascar and Lion King yeah. and things oh, like he's that. He's so thrilled. He knows what's going on, Helen. He knows what's, he's, he knows he's very important, he's telling me. Really and um, of course, you, you have a great way with animals, Helen. But he really would like a mate. And he would like more people coming in to visit him. And he likes it when the music's playing. He's so he's feeling so much better. He's just asking, how long will it be? Well, like, if you're really serious that he needs a friend, I'll go to PetSmart today and get him a friend. Could you get something that either looks close to him and his, his mate? Um, his mate was yellow. Yes. I could go find a yellow cockatiel. Is he excited about that? <laughs> oh, he's preening. Him. He's preening. He's, 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 oh he's, my gosh, he's well. acting. For, look, he's looking at the camera. Look, <laughs> he's looking. He knows. Yes. Oh, Helen, that's making him feel better. Okay. Well, I'm off to PetSmart. We go there all the time anyway. But he loves. He likes this room. He likes the quiet. He's asking, where's the cat? There was one cat he didn't like. There was one cat he didn't like at all. And he said that sometimes when the girls come home, they come and see him. And who sleeps in here? Courtney. He loves that when she's here. Because he said she comes home and she talks to him, and he loves that. Julie, you've been with him a lot. When he first passed, Come up to, to him. Oh, he likes you. Oh, yeah. He says you look after oh, him. And he, he said you talk, talk to him. him. I do. And Every he said he says you talk to him all the time mm -hmm. and sometimes you make a little song. Yeah. He I loves love. oh yeah. He says you make a lovely little mm -hmm. song I to him. Sing to him. And he I says, Tell her thank you, thank oh. you for, for being so kind. And sometimes you sit on the bed and talk to him. And he said, I love that. Oh, and he said, sweet. keep coming to see him. Uh -huh. But he said he really would like to have another mate and he'd oh, love a baby. Kind of and he loves it because you put the TV on mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. And don't go out without putting it on, he just told me. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put it on. I will. I will. He loves you. Mm -hmm. He said I you look you up too. to him. Mm -hmm. look he him. wants you to go closer. Hello, baby. He wants you to go closer. Look at you, lonely. Oh, I can still feel I know his sadness. I buried his wife and the baby. Oh, you buried no, yeah. them. He's, he's sad. Yeah. I can still feel the sadness still came over him then. Mm -hmm. When you said it, telepathically, you were oh. putting out images, and that made him sad. So I tell him we will yeah, see them again one day. Me. I'm going to make him feel better. I'm going to tell oh, him that... Yeah. There, you can feel and sense them around him, but he doesn't understand why he can't see them. So I'm going to tell him that when we get out of our physical body, we are in energy and we don't have the physical body. But when he feels and senses his, his wife and his baby, she's there in a different way. And they're always around us, spirit. And one day he'll be the same as they are and he'll be with them. He'd like that, he said. He'd mm. like that. I just feel so much like sadness. But you helped him a lot, darling, and he thank wants you. me to say thank you to oh, him. And he loves it when you come up. My pleasure. Can you, you sing want for to him? Sing? Can you yes, sing what for him? Want? He song? wants you to put his name in it and can you sing? Okay, I'm gonna sing a little song. Is Julie going to sing you a beautiful song? What song do I need to sing for him? Here you go. From this moment, let us be gone. From this moment, you are the one right beside you. 
is where I want to be from this moment on. He, he loves, loves that. I know. Oh, darling, and you have such a pretty voice, oh, Julie. Thank you. He loves music. He yeah, really he music. does. So, Julie, how long have you been singing uh, to the bird? Since. I got here. I mean, I've been working here for eight years, and it's just me and the bird knows that I sing song for him. That's why I'm so surprised when Sonia told me that I always sing song for the bird. I got goosebumps, you know. Nobody knows. I didn't even tell Helen about that. It's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm singing song for the bird, right? But it's true. I really sing song every single day, every time I come up there and feed him, give him water. I always sing a little song for him, then turn on the radio, you know, he loves that. Yeah. Did you ever wish that you could talk to your pet? Don't you want to know what your dogs and cats or critters are thinking when they pee on your rug? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Well, now's your chance to find out. Please welcome celebrity pet psychic and author of three books, animal communicator, Sonia Fitzpatrick. How are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Yes, How are you? Nice to see you. Can, so you, can I, you tell what we're thinking or just pets? Oh, I don't bother with people. Pets are much <laughs> yeah. more interesting. Well, is, what's the most rewarding part of your job? Oh, they always ask me that. When sometimes I'm with clients, you know, they want to know why their animal is behaving in a certain mm -hmm. way and they're, they're confused. And often that's with rescue animals ah. too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that I love, sorting out problems so okay. that the human companion can understand what the animal, why it's behaving this way or why it's nervous because a lot of animals are nervous. So I just like to sort those problems out for the human and the animal. Okay, so, so before you read our dogs, yes. um, we, we've got a couple of other pets that are going yes. to come out. Do you mind? No, yeah, darling, I don't okay, mind. Okay, great. Okay, all right, so Mario. our first is uh, Annie with her human companion, Ed Holloway. Okay. Unexpected. That's unexpected. Hi, Ed. Hi. 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 How are Hi there. You? Nice to see you. Hi, Annie. Can we pet Annie? Sure. Okay. Very friendly. So do we be qu are we quiet while you're... No, 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 okay, she's you fine. She's very intrigued, she loves being here. She's never done anything quite like this before, <laughs> she said. And she said, um, she well, we can all see she loves her food. Oh, and oh, she does. Yeah, she oh. does. <laughs> well, you did well there, Annie, did you? <laughs> Espresso beans, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> impressive thing I've ever seen in my life. But, you, Sonia, you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't know that was going to Oh, please do it again right now. Please, please. Oh, oh, wow. God. And she said she's good at chewing things. Oh, yeah. Oh, she said, I've chewed up. Oh, 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 look at how she's she's got she said, oh, I'm used to that, Kelly. She's just <laughs> She's speaking from all sides. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey. Okay. Anything is, else? Is yes. any... She says, I'm, she says I, you let her go wherever she wants to go. Yep. And she said she likes being in the house. And she loves it when you open the fridge door. So one of the questions I yes, had for you is she is an escape artist. Yes. She can jump over fences, under... And no matter how high or how you secure it, she gets out. Yes. Well, you, you have to... She said that they, she, always, she said that someone always finds me or I come back. She goes, <laughs> yes, she does. She said, everybody knows me where I live. <laughs> everybody knows me. I'm very well known. Well, she, she leaves said. a trail. <laughs> yeah. And, she, <laughs> and where is it that she likes to lie in the house? Um, on the back porch. She loves that place. And she, where's the beige carpet? On the porch. Yes, that's what she that likes, she to, likes to soil, and she's not allowed on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, she says, I'm, and I'm very spoiled. And she said, everybody falls in love with me. Oh, well, well, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> so we should. We're gonna yeah. clean up for a second, and we come back with uh, yes, our dogs. Our dogs. Yeah, you're gonna read our dogs. Yes, yes, we're readings okay. after this. We're back with animal communicator Sonia Fitzpatrick.
And we had a treat a moment ago. Let's see what is next. Yes. Cheche is next. Cheche. And his human companion, Grant Sonia. Hi, Grant. Hello, hello. Hello. So, Grant, uh, for, for those of you who think Grant looks familiar, Grant is the son of our hairstylist, Diane D'Agostino. And you've made so many appearances since you were a newborn mm -hmm. baby on this show. And now you're a grown man, for heaven's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> What is chinchilla? He's a chinchilla. A chinchilla. And whose bed does he go on? Uh, he goes on my bed sometimes. Yes, he said he likes that. Yeah. He said, and, and he's allowed, again, he's allowed to go everywhere in the house. And he said he has nice dishes to eat from. Yes, yes. And he likes the shiny one. He likes the one that shines. So he said, um, I'll have another one of those, he <laughs> goes. And also, where is someone going? Where have you been thinking of going, or someone in your home's been thinking of going? Uh, Maybe my sister, she's thinking about going to a new school, so... Yeah, he, he said, is she going to be coming backwards and forwards? Oh, that's... Is she going to be away? Well, that's me. I, go, I travel to a uh, oh, he, school. Yes, he said, and when are you away? I'm away most of the day just to school because... Yeah, I and, and who's thinking city. of going away overnight somewhere? Probably my sister, she's going to a camp. Oh, he's so. upset about that. Oh, okay. Very okay. upset about it. <laughs> he doesn't think that. she should go. Shouldn't? Okay. He said, I don't think she could go, and I'm her favourite, he says. <laughs> and he said, she's always changing her hair. Oh. oh, he said, she I look and I think, God, she's done her hair different again, he said. <laughs> and he said that you talk to him all the time. Do, he said, you never stop talking to him. He knows everything you say, he tells me. <laughs> and he said, you're very particular about the shoes you wear. Shoes? And you're very particular about your hair, he said. That's you like very that? true. He says, they're the two things that you're really, really concerned about. And he said, and he thinks you're very handsome. Oh. Oh. I think he is too. Yeah, he, <laughs> said, he thinks you're very handsome. Thank you. Well, now we know he's not blind. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Grant. Great. Thank you. Thanks, you. Thanks Grant. So here comes Duncan. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> my, my little pony. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's a bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good boy. What am I doing here again? <laughs> and I tell him what he's doing here. <laughs> and he said he doesn't always sneakers. wear these. Yes, he always wears them. He said, oh. I always wear those, he said. Yeah. And he said, I quite like them. And where does he have some other ones? Uh, he has about four or five different yeah, he colors. Yeah, he'll have a few more pairs, he said. Okay. He said, these aren't my only ones. But he said, I like these because they match. <laughs> and he said, I like these a lot. And he said that Come you on. give him really fresh carrots. Yes, we do. I don't like them when they're stale. Yeah. I like them when they're fresh. And you cut them up for him, he said. And where does he see another horse? Uh, he actually lives with another horse at, uh, at my farm. Yes, he says, and why is he here? And he said, what's more, he said, he's a bit bossy, the other one. Oh, yeah, he's a oh, shepherd he pony. Oh, he bosses so me bigger. around, he hey, says. Yeah. And he said, it's nice to have a break from him. He yeah. said, even oh, though he wants yeah. him here, yeah. it's also nice to have a break from him because he's the rudest horse I've ever met. <laughs> oh, OK. And he said, but, he said, he likes me. He likes me sometimes. He's a good boy. And he he's... says, and when did you give him a bath? Uh, last night. Yeah, I don't want that again, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, and where's the blue bucket? Uh, in his stall? Yeah, he loves the blue bucket, okay. he said. And he Very said good. he likes what you put in it. And okay. could he have another one? <laughs> he said, could he have another blue bucket? Absolutely. I want to know what's in the blue bucket. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So, Thank you Thanks very so much, guys. Okay, Thank bye. You. So now, uh, I'm gonna go get we're going to go get Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Go. Ryan's going to go get Georgia, yes. his dog. Yes. They have a... Oh, no. Georgia. Come on, Georgia. Hi, Georgia. Georgia. Hi, baby. Georgia, sit. Georgia, sit. Georgia, sit. Good girl. Aww. Good girl. Good girl. And he said you saved his life. You rescued him. You saved his life, he said. And it's the best life I could have. And why are you always so busy, he said. You're always thinking of things. <laughs> he said, you, you think faster than anybody knows, and you're always thinking of doing things, he said. And you're always busy thinking of this, thinking of that. He's never known anyone think of so many things as you do. But he said, you always have time for him. Aww. Oh, he said, you always have time for him. And you love him better than anyone else in the high world, wide world, he says. Does Georgia like the city? 
It took a bit of getting used to. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. taken a bit of getting used to, he said. He said it was, oh, he said it was so noisy. He said, I'm getting better, but I think I could still get a bit better, he says. Yeah. I think you might be reading Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sure yeah. you're not reading Ryan? <laughs> he says, but I'll come here again. Oh. Could you take him to work every day, he says. Oh, I would love that. We'll get a stool for Georgia. Oh, yeah. All right. He well, said, thank you. Right. He said, I definitely want to. I'll want take. To work I'm going to take Georgia okay, back, take and Georgia. I'll go get Chewy. Okay. Chewy. All right. Bye, okay. Georgia. I'll see you later. Come on. Come on, baby. Bye. -bye. Okay. 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 Well, thank you. Oh, Johnny, you said he loved a bit more. So, time. so I need to work less, slow down, spend more time he at home. He wants to be with you. He wants okay. to go with you wherever you are. Oh. oh. She wants to eat the uh, goat the, poop. Yeah. I can tell you right now. There you go. Hi. Come on. Let's go see Sonia. Let's go oh. see. <laughs> Let's go see Sonia. Oh. Do you remember Sonia? And she likes having her bows. Yeah, she does. She loves so having good. her bows. She said, I like that, she said. <laughs> And she said, um, she said, your children love her. Yeah. And the do. youngest one lies on the floor and rolls all over with her. That is and, true. And I'm the, their favorite dog, she goes. And where does she see a black dog sometimes? Well, probably Backstage. Georgia. Oh, just now. Georgia. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So she mm -hmm. says, I like that dog too. Yeah, she yeah. said, I'm very friendly. Yeah. She said, I love people, I love dogs. And she said, I love my mum best. Aww. And my mum loves me, she Aww, said. And you're true. always talking to her. That's true. And she said, she also has a number of names. She does. Yes, she yeah. said, I have a lot of names. She did, Well, she was born with a different name, and then we renamed her. So, yes, she and, said, But we do call her a lot of different yes, names. Yes, she said, the children do, too. Yeah, they do. And she said, they all love me. And she said, and I just am so happy every day. Oh, good. And she said, she'll ha she, she like, when did they give us something from the refrigerator? Um, well, so, okay, so it's such a long story, but <laughs> she's... <laughs> <laughs> she's got a, a bit of a bad back, and she um, so she's been taking these hemp biscuits. Yes. So we hide it usually in either yogurt or cream cheese or peanut butter or something like that. She loves that. Yeah, she. I know she, she has, does. And you change. Yeah. Yes, yes. She, she does, loves yeah, the yeah. changes. Oh, good. Okay. And she said, I like all the changes. Yeah. And she she also has a very nice bowl to eat from. Yes, she does. And she also has a nice bowl to drink from. Mm -hmm. And she said, you're always changing her water out. Yes. And who's mm -hmm. the other lady? that looks after us sometimes. Oh, well, I mean, there's Lauren backstage who is her oh, favorite. Oh, yes, Lauren she is said. her she favorite. She looks after me. Yeah. yeah. And she, she said, and um, we're always busy. She mm -hmm. said, we're always so busy, she mm -hmm. said. But most of all, she says she loves the hemp biscuits. She does. Yes. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> More so on so Sunday. Yeah. Go to our website. The star of Animal Planet's Pet Psychic and this year's TV special, Pet Psychic Encounters, Sonia Fitzpatrick is America's most loved animal communicator. Sonia is the author of What the Animals Tell Me and Cat Talk and the host of her family radio show. The series 102 on XM 155. Call Sonia with your pet questions on 888-4102-102. Mum's always looking at things from an animal's point of view. So to give her too much information really doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um, because in the end, it's going to all come from the animal anyway. from Lake Charles, Louisiana. He's a Hurricane Rita refugee. And I want to know why he's so aggressive and why she can't just like let it go. He goes so psycho on you. He goes, he goes crazy. When I go in to wake her up, I know it's coming. He doesn't like me. He blocks me from showers. He's part of the family and we want him to be part of the family all the time. Hi, Hello, he has a lot of issues, doesn't he? He has an awful lot of issues, not one, many. It happens so fast to me. It's literally like so quick and it's like a telephone line. And then suddenly 
It's transmitting, just like a radio, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Oh, God, he went through so much trauma, darling. Where has he been where there's been water around? Oh, uh, Hurricane Rita. He feels safe here. He's bonded to you. And he knows he's going to be with you forever. You've told him that. He has a tremendous close connection with you. And you have a tremendous connection with him, sweetheart, don't you? Because you've been with him before. And I'm not going to touch him because he bites, he tells me. And I respect that. And I'm thanking him for telling me that. And I'm going to ask him if he could be a little nicer to your family. And I'm going to tell him also that if some people come to the house, you know, he can be safe. It's okay for him to be nice to them. When do you not make the bed and let him lie on it? Always. <laughs> And also, you take food to him sometimes, on beautiful dishes sometimes. And thank you, thank you, he says, and he just loves the food because he says you share everything with him. But I have to tell you that he's happy here. He said, but sometimes you're a bit rude. <laughs> you're a bit rude. nicer to me yeah, then. Yeah, <laughs> he said, sometimes you're a bit rude to him. Who was the lady he went for? He was a bit nervous of him. Oh, it was you. He said you're scared to death of him. He loves that. Makes him feel very powerful. <laughs> he said you don't know how to handle him. And when did he nip you or try to nip you? Well, he tried to nip my toes getting in the shower. <laughs> and if I try to come sit next to him or pet him, he'll try to nip my fingers. Yeah, he says you keep your fingers to yourself. <laughs> I just explained to him, these people really care about you. And he started to just change his mind a little bit. Sometimes these things take time, but often it can be instant. Is everybody looking at me? I'm telling him, yes, everybody's looking at him. <laughs> he doesn't do this. No, I can't be nice to you, darling. <laughs> I talked to him and told him how smart he was and that we'd really appreciate it if he could change his behavior. Isn't it amazing how she was able to communicate with him and how he came over and talked to Lisa? It's yeah, never happened no. before at all. Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hi, everybody. I am really, really excited, and so is Sunny, because we have somebody on our show today who is widely regarded as the most experienced and trusted animal communicator in the world. And I've been a huge fan of hers for many years. I want you to welcome Sonia Fitzpatrick. Hi, Sonia. Hi, how nice to talk to you again. Oh, it's so my pleasure. I'm so thrilled you're here. And the last time I saw you, I did not have a dog. But now I do. So I'm yes. just I'm just so excited that you're here to to share with your energy. And I don't know if the if my Shar viewers can see, but you have your dog with you. Yes, I do. And he, they've already said hello. And he saw him earlier dancing and making his lovely little noises that he makes. Oh, so he's happy? Very, very. Oh, so he likes the energy here, right? He does. Oh, good. That he means does. so he much to me. It. He wants to come all the time, he said. Uh, he does. Okay. Well, you are always invited on my show. I, oh, thank you. I would love that. I can't, I really I can't even tell you how, like, I've watched you for so many years, and you're so 
right on with everybody, I, uh, every animal I've ever seen you, and you've helped so many people because the animals can't speak for themselves, but yeah. but they try to communicate, and, and you know how to do this so well. You know, so I was told that you were born with a hearing loss. Yes. Is that true? So how did that help you realize your connection to animals? Well, I didn't speak until I was five, and the animals taught me their language when I was a little girl. I didn't need to talk. I just loved talking with the animals. Oh. Yes, so that's how I learned the language. They actually taught me the language. Well, which animals are the easiest for you to communicate with? Do you know, I find them all easy to communicate with. Sometimes, occasionally, one might say, I'm not going to talk to you, but within three minutes to five minutes, it's talking. What, what's it's the... What's, communicating. What, what's the most unusual animal you've ever communicated with? I think an alligator. It's so weird. I was swear I was just thinking about an alligator and the little boy that was taken in Orlando. That's yes. So strange. Yes. What what did what did he tell you? What did I mean? I know you didn't talk to that one, but what did yes. the alligator convey to you? There was another alligator that was rather confined, and it was very sad because it wanted to move, and it was in too small an enclosure. And it, I, first of all, I felt the sadness, Aww. and then he started to communicate with me. And hopefully, well, I did tell them, and they said, we'll move him, we'll move him, we'll move him to a bigger space. Because they're very smart, all animals. They speak the same way. They do. You mean like through thought? Is that how you do this, through thought? Through we do it. What happens is we are actually speaking their language. People don't realize they're doing it. And what's happening is every time we're thinking of something, we have a thought. Maybe we're going away on vacation. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're going shopping. And what happens, we're transmitting out like a radio, and that picture goes out into the energy fields. And the picture isn't like you see with the physical eye. It's like, if I said to you, could you tell me where the Statue of Liberty is? It's like an impression, isn't it? Right. And that's, when we're talking, those images are going up into our energy fields, and the feelings and emotions from us are going up too. And I always say to people, if you want your animals to do what you want them to do, always put the right feeling and emotion with the vision that you're unknown to you, the animals can see. Well, it's with, with my dog and myself, I, I feel like he has mental telepathy. It is, absolutely. Like it's the I'll same... It's the same as when you're doing readings and right. you're, you're talking to people. It's exactly the same. It is. It's, it's so special. It just it And, and they, they, they understand so much about us. I mean, for instance, he says you feed other animals. He's not the only animal you feed, he tells me. Oh, my God, you just gave me goosebumps. He said, he's telling me, he said, you feed lots of other animals, and you're always worrying about animals, he said. And he said he's the most special one in your life, and he sleeps with you. He, you're so right about all of that. And he said he loves to sleep with you, and you cuddle him, and you take him where you can. He I said, do. You'll take him where you can at times. And who's the other lady that comes and goes to your home? Oh, my God. That's my assistant, Nikki, who... He loves her. He does. He said she does her hair different sometimes. Oh, my God. You're going to make me cry. He said she does her hair different. She's very kind. She loves you. And she always makes a big fuss of me. It's so and true. And I do like wearing nice clothes, he said. Everybody knows who I am. <laughs> I like going in the car, and my favorite place is to sit on my mum's knee. That's where I like to be. Oh, you are so spot on. I can't, you're like 100% spot on. And he tells me that when you stop at traffic lights, everybody is looking at him, and they think, what a beautiful dog. They, they do. They like, they, <laughs> they like look over, and they, and they like wave, and they smile, and they, they really do. Yes, they do. And he said, not only are they thinking what a lovely dog I am, they're thinking what a beautiful mum I've got. Oh, that's so, so sweet. He said, She's all mine. <laughs> she, I am. And, you you know, I, he's talking so fast. He's talking really fast. He said, you told him he was going to talk to someone that talked to animals. I did. He said, and he said that um, that's why he's talking so much and telling me things, he said. 
And he said that, are you thinking of changing a car or you have changed a car or someone around you has been Oh, thinking? that's so crazy you said that because I've just had, had to put a lot of money into my car, a lot. And it was like, should I get a new car? Now I don't want to get a new car because I just put a lot of money into my car. You see, when, when you're thinking those thoughts, he feels your feelings and emotions and he sees the pictures and they learn our language too. There's so much they learn very, very quickly. I was just talking about a new car yesterday with my assistant. Like I said, I really don't want to put money into a new car, but I think they fixed it this time. Yes. So crazy. And he said she's a bit bossy, your sister, but she's lovely. My assistant? Yeah. She said your assistant is a little bit bossy sometimes, she's, but she's lovely. She's she's she can she's she's got a mind of her own. Yes, she he can. said she has. He said, and I just love her. Yeah, he she's said, not bossy just, with me, but she is bossy, like protecting me. Yes, he said that. He said, and me too. He goes, and me too. She protects me too. He goes. He he does. He like. <laughs> and he's talking so fast. He's, He's just, he's just telling me, where are you thinking of going? Where am I thinking of going? Yes. Uh, like next week, I'm thinking yes. of driving to Palm Springs. And he says he's coming too. Yes, he is. Coming. No, I'm going. She couldn't, she, she gets very unhappy when I'm not with her, he said, and she thinks about me all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> he said, so I, it's better if I go and I help look after her too, he goes. He feels he looks after you. He does look after me. Oh, and he oh. says, you know, I'm quite well known as well as my mum. <laughs> I'm known too, he goes. <laughs> He's so funny. And he loves his dishes you give him to eat from. His what? Dishes that he his eats. Dishes. From. Oh, I, got, I just got gave him new food. Yeah. And, and he, he does them. love it. Like he really finally, I finally got it down. Isn't what? that good? He said, and, and he likes the dish you put it in. Oh. He said, also, I like chicken, you know. I, and I just gave him chicken today on the, in the new thing I did. That's it, you said, and you cut it up small, especially for him. Oh. She said, and I liked it, and I'll have it again. Thank yeah. you, Mum. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Oh, my God. And, and he says, my dishes are always kept very clean, too. He it's said. so true. I he wash said, it all the time. Yeah, he said, and I'm always with her and around her, and she always kisses me on the head. And when do you, who sings to him? He said someone sings songs to him. Oh, sometimes. wait. Oh, my goodness. You're, like, freaking me out. Yeah, he said they sing he, songs. Wait, wait. We sing the national anthem together. I love it. But he said also they sing sometimes to me and put my name in it. I do sing. I sing. I do sing to him. And he said he loves all the singing. He but, said and he's a very good this, singer, too. He is. Do you want to hear him sing? Yes. Okay. Because he said he's a very good singer. Ash, Jenny, I just hope he'll do it right now. Ah! Okay, ready? Ready? And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Very good, very oh, good. That was fantastic. <laughs> That Sunny, you sang so beautifully. I know he said, I know. He said, he he's, said what a he, big he boy. He loves singing. I'm laughing because my dog's going all around the back of the television looking for him. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> okay, I can't believe you got me to sing on camera. You sing very well. Oh, that's gosh, very... Gosh, me to sing. Everyone would turn me off. Did what, they may, maybe somebody will fun. hire us to sing for a ball game or something. <laughs> It's very good, and he loves your singing. Oh, that's so he said, sweet. He, he said he's a good licker. He loves to lick, he said. And he said, he's who's the black dog he sees sometimes? The black dog? I does he see the black dog? The when black, he's out the black dog. Someone. Well, there's a black, there are two black and white dogs that are my neighbor's dogs that yes. I walk with him in Michigan with. Yes, he said one of them's a bit rude. One of them's a bit rude. You're right. 
He said, very rude, in fact, he said, and I'm very well-mannered. You are right. He said, but the other one isn't. The other one's quite nice, he and says. You're right, and really sweet. It's, it's, it's And Cal he loves to go there. It's Calvin and Hobbes. And he said, the house is very different where he stays to the other one. It is very different. He said, and you did some changing a little bit. I did. He said, and you love the place just as you want it. He yeah, said, I, 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 that I did make a change in a home. Yeah, he said, and you like the kitchen in one of them better than the other, in one of the homes. I, I, I do, I do. And he said, and I do too. He <laughs> said, I do too. he's lovely. You've been with him in many past lives. You probably know that. I don't have to. Tell no, you I that. love hearing what you have to say. I completely like. I, I completely respect you, and I'm so honored that you're even spending so much time reading for us. And he said that, in, you know, he said that everywhere you go, people look at us, and lots of people recognize you, too, because you're very good at what you do. And he says you talk to him like I do. You want to hear something funny? Yes, I would like to. I would like to hear funny things. I went, I was back in Michigan, and three times... People said, are you Shar? And I said, yes. They said, oh, I recognize you because of Sonny. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing, isn't it? They remember dogs. Three people, people they re recognized me from Shar Vision because of Sonny. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, and, and he said, well, he's very important. He feels he's a very important part of the show and he wants to be on all the time, he said. Well, he, he is. We don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh. time we always be on. He said, I don't want to stay at home at all. I love coming in the car, he said. And I'm very comfortable. You make him comfortable in the car. Is he okay? when? I, but sometimes I have to leave him at home. Is that okay? I mean, I have to. He knows that. He says, I don't particularly like it, he said. But I, I, I stay. He you know said, what he but said? I'd rather be with my mom. You know he said, he's very good. He said, I, I sleep too. And there's a window I can see out of. Right. Right. He's looking out the window, he says. There, he does in all the places. There's, <laughs> the, when I come home and, and if I don't take him, he balls me out. Yes, he said. Um, but he said, you quite like that. He says, you quite like that. It, He's what, telling it does. Take, it, he, want, he said he wakes up happy in the morning and he goes to bed happy at night. And sometimes we go to bed later sometimes than other times, he said. That's so true. He lets me know when it's time for bed. He goes on the bed. He says, I'm tired. It's time to go to bed, Mama. I know. And he said he just loves it. He said he gets tired and he sleeps a lot. He said, but he's a very good dog. He's very well mannered and he's a very good I, dog. I want to validate for you that in the beginning you said I feed other animals. Yes, he said I, you, you're worried I, about. I, I feed the deer. Yes, he said you do. They're the big deer, and he'll chase them out of the corral. If, I'm, if, I don't have him, if, he, if he gets off the leash on me, I don't like him to. But uh, tell him that's not a good thing. Let yeah, me tell him. I told him, but he 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 chased these huge big deer, five deer out of the corral. Yeah, he said they're always coming around. He said, but you like you're very good with them. He said, and you're very kind to them, and they communicate with him too. Yeah, the, they, uh, the deer communicate with him and talk to him. Yeah, I have this picture of thirteen deer looking at me. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. They're beautiful. They are. All animals are, are amazing. And they have this wonderful unconditional love that goes through to everything. All everything. How do you how do you help a pet owner work through issues with the animals? Well, I usually if they have a problem, mm -hmm. and often people have a problem or don't understand why an animal is behaving in a certain way. And so if I can get to the emotional problem with the animal, it always starts with an emotional problem, then we can fix it on the physical level. So, you know, we get all sorts of problems. You know, cats probably, for instance, not only dogs, cats, will mm -hmm. suddenly be urinating all over the house. And of course, people are like, I do everything I can, I keep the litter box clean, I feed them, and there they go, urinating over the house. Yeah. And more often than not, it's because people are using chemicals, they can't bear the smell of them. They, they're used to the grass, the trees, the soil. That's their smell. And often when you're using chemicals, they don't like the smell. And it's dangerous to them because they're inhaling all the time, those poisons. And they will pee on the carpet to put their scent down. 
then a long country lady clears it up with a chemical again and it's a never ending battle so you don't have to use chemicals and it's just cats that stuff some do some don't mm -hmm. depends on the cat but you know all sorts of problems will come up you know a dog could be growling at someone and um you know, not all dogs like to be walked up to and petted. Right. So I always say, it would probably if someone new comes in the house, if they go near them, they'll growl at them because they want to get to use to the scent because we recognize through visually, through mm -hmm. vision, they recognize all the time through scent. So if you have someone new come in, some, pe some dogs just want to get used to the scent of that person. Mm -hmm. They want to sit there. Some other dogs will run up and be happy and friendly. But right. the dogs that don't, I just say to people, I used to have a Ridgeback like um, Ash, oh, and she didn't like anyone coming up to her. And I used to say to people, leave her alone, ignore her completely, and she'll come to you. And that's how she was. Whereas he said he's very friendly with everyone. You he know, just told me. You know, it's interesting. Sonny's like... He's like making little noises while you're talking. I don't know if anyone can hear him. But he's he's, he's going, trying to speak the language. Yeah, when it's, it's like, I don't know. It's like he really, I, I can tell he really likes your voice. I, I, well, I love him. He's beautiful. And he likes what I've been saying about him, he tells me. Yeah. And he likes what you've been saying, too. He does. Now, what happens... I mean, it's, it has to be so frustrating because I know it's frustrating if I try to help people and they don't listen to me and then they suffer the consequences. Yes. What happens when they don't listen to you? It's got to be so even more frustrating because at least people have a choice to do something about it yes, and the animals are helpless. That's right. But I find most people do because they want the changes and they want their animal happy. People love their animals more than they love people around them. I had a, a dog tell me this morning, my mum loves me a lot better than my dad. And she <laughs> said, yes, I do. <laughs> I understand that. because Well, you know why? Well, you know why. Animals know <laughs> unconditional love and they love you no matter what. They don't judge us. They don't. They don't judge us. And, and they, they accept. What, another amazing thing about animals is that they tolerate discomfort a lot better than humans do. They oh. really do, you know, and they'll hang on for us as long as they can. No matter if they're in pain or uncomfortable, they will hang on for us because they know that our human companions don't want us to go. How do, how do we teach pet owners to effectively communicate and interact with their own pets? Do you know, that's interesting you should say that because we're doing it anyway, it's just recognizing it. And we, I've just done a course that's going on TV to, to so that people can do exactly what I'm doing because many of them are doing it, but it's like they don't believe in their Okay, well, tell us about this. You're doing it on TV now? Well, not TV, sorry, darling, on the internet. On the internet. And how can people watch this? I'll watch it. Yes, it's it. Well, you would know Emma, wouldn't you? You you do all your website. It's my website, sonyfitzpatrick.com. Okay, and we have that at the bottom of the screen. Okay, we've got it at the bottom of the of the screen. <laughs> that, that's lovely. Thank you, darling. Of course, sonyfitzpatrick.com. Are you kidding? I will that's, like. You know, so many people said, "Oh, I wish I could do this." Well, they can because they're doing it without recognizing it. And so many people are picking things up from their animals, but they're dismissing it as imagination. Right. Because well, it's so subtle. And as you know, imagination is vision. Do you have like a, like, I'm sure you have more than one, but do you have like a memorable case that you can share with us? What about a, a problem or something like that? Yeah. I had one dog that I thought was very smart. Um, the human companion said, my dog never listens to anything that I tell. It mm -hmm. doesn't listen to commands. It doesn't do anything. It just looks at me and it's a dumb dog. So I oh. said, well, I haven't really found a dumb animal yet. So I start talking to the dog, who, by the way, is very funny, had a lovely sense of humor. He said, I understand everything he says, he says. But he <laughs> never stops going on at me. Do this, do that, come here, come there. He said, so I just don't hear him. He said, I switch off. He said, and I know some people do that too. And this dog was so smart. So I just said to the human companion, I didn't actually tell him what the dog had said. I said, well, you know, he said that 
you're always talking, could you not tell him to do so many things? Try just over a week asking him to do one thing, but just ask him a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Don't keep, you know, keep on about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dog said, thank you. And apparently he did this. And he, I had a, 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 an email from him saying, thank you so much, it's working. And I'm trying something else. And he said, I did give so many commands to him all the time, and now it's working, he says. So I thought that was a very oh, you, you You're a lifesaver for these animals. Oh, gosh, they're a lifesaver for us, aren't they? Uh, you, absolutely. I, I believe my blood pressure is down because of my dog. I really do. And they teach many people, too, how to love. And as we know, love is the most important thing in this universe. It's, love. It's Free. so true. And it's, they teach people to love. A lot of people will say to me, oh, I didn't know that I could love as much as I love my dog. Aww. And so many people love their animals more than the people that they're living with. <laughs> and well, the animals are always there for us. It's true. And they just love us. No, unconditional love is amazing. If we were all like that, we wouldn't have any wars. It's so, it's, it, it, profound words. It teaches us so much too. Yeah, profound but words because I've, I've learned from them everything that I know they taught me. Oh, everything and still teaching me too. Yeah, I I always say that I feel like sometimes the way I part of the lessons I've had of being an intuitive and psychic is I used to ride the horses who nobody wanted to ride because they would be like crazy, but I felt bad for them. Yeah. So I'd have to anticipate ahead of time before they would, like I had one horse who would, I'd walk him down the street and he would shy at every mailbox. So we would be dancing like this on, on, down the road, but it helped me anticipate ahead of time what I was feeling to help prevent a problem. Yes, because you were picking the horse's nervousness up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the, the gift that you have, you have a remarkable gift. Well, thank a you. A very remarkable gift. Thank you. So, you know, they pick up from you too. And they know you understand them because you do. I, I, I do. <clears throat> I really, I do because I, I just do. Now, I know that you have worked with a lot of celebrities, and I don't know if you're allowed to tell us about them, but um, are there any you can tell us about or how they interact with their pets? Yes, I mean, many. I mean, Ellen, for instance, she loves her cats, and Portia loves her dog. And she puts the, she, the poodle, her pearls around the poodle's neck. But they're both great animal lovers. And, and Ellen, you know, believes in them being natural. She doesn't believe in dressing them up. And uh -oh. she loves her cats to, they go out in the yard, and she worries all the time because where she lives, or, you know, there, there's coyotes everywhere. There are. It's, she was, but but she just adores her cats, and she loves the dog too. But people lean towards different animals, don't they? You know, they well, lean they, towards. Well, they do, them. they do. But I I used to be a cat person. Now I'm a dog person. Yes, isn't it? I'm both. You know. Well, I guess I, I'm both too. But I I just have a dog. But I yes. am both. But I'm allergic to cats. Yes, a lot of people are. You know, but they still. They still have them. I have a friend that is allergic to her, to her two cats, and she her nose pours, and she, but she still has and them. You know, she says, "Oh no, I can't oh, live without." Of course, them. because she'd rather have sniffles than lose her yes. babies. What yes. What other uh, celebrities have you worked with? Oh, so many. I mean, there was um, there's there's oh gosh, you know, there've just been so many. I mean, Robert Wagner just loves loves his dogs. He's Aww. he's a, wonderful man, Robert and Jill, they're lovely. And he always has German shepherds and he just loves his German shepherds, you know. So he's, uh, when I see him or I talk to him, I occasionally talk to his children's dogs and him too, because he's, he's a great family man. And um, so he talks to his, he tries to talk to his German shepherd and I think he's quite successful, that's, but he said, nobody does it like you do. It's, it's, it's so fascinating to know all your to share for you to share all your knowledge with us and 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 it it's i mean everything you've said is really the reading that you did for sunny <clears throat> so spot on it's like freaking me out oh darling i smart well i i'm so grateful that you that you were able to share this time with us and people can call you and get your advice and you also work over the telephone and skype <laughs> 
I do most of my work on the telephone and I have a website and I have a lovely lady. Who and, books. and tell us what it is again. It's soniafitzpatrick.com. Okay, and it's at the bottom of the screen, everybody. Sonia, I, I hope that we will be able to communicate again soon. And I thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge with us and take good care of yourself. Thank you. And thank you for being so gracious. Oh, my goodness. It's my honor. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Yes. Yeah. She's quite happy at the moment. Wants to know when she's finishing. Oh, yes. We both want to know. Hi, darling. What a great job you This is made. Buckley. Thank Hello, you. Hello, Buckley. You look fabulous. After yesterday when Sonia told us not to be nervous because the dog can feel our tension, I was trying today to be a little more comfortable, a little less nervous with myself so I wouldn't reflect that on the dog. This is Hello, Lucy. Jonathan. Lucy. Hello, Lucy. And how have you been feeling? Good. Uh, do I look beautiful? You do <laughs> look beautiful. And um, she's telling me that. What have you done to her tail? Huh? I'm going to tell her you made it look beautiful. This is the traditional cut for her breed. Let me tell her that. She thinks she liked her tail better before. Hello, Art. When I saw Miss Sonia Fitzpatrick in the salon, it threw me, because I was not expecting her to come back. How are you? She comes to my tail and the dogs start telling on me again. You're still a bit nervous, darling. She's picking it up, but she's better. You okay. put into practice, haven't you? Yes. I know, and it's made a difference. Right before she came to my table, I told the dog, I said, I'll give you a treat if you don't tell on me. She was easy. She just doesn't like her feet being touched at all. Uh, some dogs so are she, like that. Yeah, she bites when you touch her And the feet. thing is, acknowledge that she doesn't like having her feet clipped and just tell her. Okay. You'll be careful. Okay. And tell them you're nervous. Okay. Tell them. And, and, and I'm then, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Miss Sonia was impressed with me because I'm afraid of her. Like that hoogie googie telepathic telekinesis stuff. Mm -mm. He doesn't like the floors. Could you change them? He <laughs> likes carpet. <laughs> he doesn't like these sort of floors. He don't like the floors. No, Carbon could you floors. change the soft hey, Hold ones. on, excuse me one second, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Chocolate, tell Chocolate that the master said that if he can produce the income to change the floors, <laughs> I would be more than happy. See, if he was a prize dog or a show dog or something, yeah. Then we can win some money off one of these blue ribbons and we can change all the floors in the house. But I like hardwood floors. <laughs> well, he loves carpet. Where's the beige carpet or was the beige carpet? In our bedroom. He got in yeah. trouble about it. He came well, he in and he, he was get on that rolling thing. around on yes. it. It's like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he would like that through the whole home. <laughs> <laughs> really have to like her, otherwise your wife would have been about to go. That's what she's telling me. It was like love my
towards the end it was very painful because he's thanking you very much for helping him go on to the spirit world. He said that when he passed on, it was like, oh, I'm out of here, I've had enough. And the animals do. They do just like we do. But we are very fortunate that we're able to help animals get out of their physical body when it's causing them a great deal of pain. But he wants you to know that he's very happy and he comes up and visits you and um, he's sending you a lot of love. And he's thanking you again for helping him get out of that pain-ridden body. And he's thanking me. He's very polite, your dog. Oh, he is. Very sweet. Very lovely. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Did you know you can talk to animals? Come on back and I'll show you how. It was very precise. And how she could possibly know that without Brandy telling her. Oh, it's really touching. He's unbelievable. Stay attuned for more pet hunting after these messages on Animal Planet. Wednesdays at 8. I want you to see this. Look. Why are you doing this? Okay. She loves me to play with her beak. Isn't that so cool? It's like stroking something. And she's not all upset about it. It's so cool. Cool. It really is. I think so. Okay, do you want to fly? You want to fly? Here, put you on my shoulder. You want to fly? You can fly. Okay. Emotions. <coughs> the thing is, trust in your imagination. you have 
have to be careful what you're thinking now because they know everything. Everything. They are so smart. Well, I couldn't have been in better company today. I couldn't have been in better company, no. This is to make you feel very special. You're all very special. And remember, animals are forever. And they teach us the most important thing in life, how to love. Open your mind with the Pet Psychic on Animal Planet. And now, an Animal Planet Showcase presentation. As a little girl growing up in an English village, I discovered the power within me that came as naturally as breathing. I could hear the thoughts, feel the pain, and experience the joys of all the animals around me. One Christmas, when I found to my horror, three geese I had raised from birth had been killed and cooked. For many years, I closed the door on my abilities, until recently when I resolved to use them once more and become a vital link between the human and animal world as the pet Hello, darlings. I'm Sonia Fitzpatrick.
should be, isn't it? That's how animal lovers are. Now, let me explain what I do. Everybody wants to know how I do this. They think what I do is magic, but it's simple. All I do is, I receive their language with my feelings, my sensitivity, my emotions, and pictures. And we picture everything we're doing, but because humans have the verbal language, they don't think about what else they're doing. So all I, if I said to you, could you tell me where the Statue of Liberty is, you all get an image of a picture, don't you? An animal speaking pictures, feelings, emotions, and senses. And all we have to do is stay quiet, not listen with this, listen with this, and our instincts and emotions. Hello, and what's your name? This is Miles. Miles. Again, he says he has other names as well. Yeah. Yeah, what do you call him? Pet names. Mm. What sweet names do you well, call him? Well, mm. we have a lot of names. Some sweet and some not so sweet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's my sweetheart, though, yeah. and he's also a good boy. Yes, sir. He's, he's looking. He hears a lot. He is. He said he behaves very well. He said he's been with you for a while now. Yeah. And he says that, um... When, there was, when was there someone with him that, that went away? Um, hmm, well, it could have been a few different times, but probably yeah. somebody from... There was someone yeah. special yeah, someone that was with him that went him. away. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's sad about that. Really? Yeah, how long ago was that? Oh, about two years. Oh, darling, he still... Let me explain that as human beings, because animals don't understand this, and we don't always think and they know everything. I'm going to tell him that as human beings this often happens and it's okay for it to happen because we always acknowledge his feelings and his emotions and his senses. So I'm going to tell him it's okay for this to happen. And he wants to know will he see that person again. Okay, well shall I tell him no because it looks to me from you that you probably won't and I feel you won't anyway. So I'm going to tell him that that's okay, we have to move on. And who's the new person that is, is with you now? Um, well... Oh, well, I'm sorry, darling. Personal things come out here, you know. <laughs> I mean, they do, they do gossip, they do chat an awful lot, and um, things come out that um, are very personal sometimes. <laughs> well, let me, let me, let me ask you, is he going to be staying once? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's not. Well, the old chap's not staying. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope he knows that. <laughs> if he doesn't, he will now. <laughs> I tell the dog anyway, let me tell him. Okay, and hello there. You, What a beautiful cat. Isn't she calm and relaxed? She is just... Isn't it he or she? Mmm. Hello. Well, you're very... Well, you're all special, but you're very special too, sweetheart, aren't you? He's a lounge lizard. Mm -hmm. um, we have the hypersensitive cat, and this one is easygoing and just beautiful. And what's the other animal he was with or lived with at one time? Oh, there was Fred. Yeah, where's Fred? Fred, Fred died about a year ago. Oh, let me tell him about Fred. He loves Fred. He sees into the spirit world. He comes to visit you sometimes, he's telling me. But I'll tell him his physical body is one. Let me tell him, darling. Okay. There's no death, really. It's just physical body dies, that's all. He said he takes care of you. And will you be having any more cats? <laughs> My daughter wants one. <laughs> My husband doesn't. Well, let me tell him, if you do, he'll be the first to know. Right now, you don't know, but if you do, he'll be the first to know. Is this one or the one? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to know whether one you had thought about it, he said. Oh, yeah. So he wanted to ask me whether you would have one or you wouldn't. So I tell him, well, if ever you do, you'll tell him. But he's he's indifferent. He doesn't doesn't really want another one. Can you ask him how he's feeling? Yeah. Oh, when did he have some medication? Oh, and um, yes, he's telling me he doesn't like it. Uh, He's doesn't like that. I, I give him trapezoid. Yeah, he says. He doesn't like that. Could you stop that, please, Michael? Oh. 
Let me tell you why he has to have it, because he knows he's not well, but he doesn't know what's wrong with him. So let me tell him that's why. When did he have a bit of a urinary tract problem? Oh, years ago. Yeah, he don't ever forget anything. Mm -hmm. He's just telling me that that was pretty awful. He thinks it's worse than what he is now. So okay. Thank you for telling me. Because one second, you know, animals can be hypochondriacs, just like people, and they can go on telling me all sorts of things. Wonderful, wonderful spirit here. Wonderful. Hello, sweetheart. And this one is particularly chatty. And we'll find out what she has to say when we come back. He knows that he likes my cooking and my spaghetti and stuff. And nobody knows that but me and my wife. Because I'm, I'm the only one who cooks in the house. I don't know how she does it, but every time I cook, he's right there waiting to eat. There's even more pet psychic after this break. Oh, she likes plant. being under my shirt. <coughs> Well, these are my front paws. I felt my paws were red raw, and I couldn't walk any further. And I literally picked that sense up in my hand. And her sense of smell is very sharp, and I even smell what they're, what they're smelling and I can even taste sometimes what they're eating. And it isn't always pleasant when I taste it. No, it isn't. But they're just transmitting out like radios. We all are, as human beings. And I was picking all that up from her telepathically, and I could hear the words in my thoughts. And I could feel it, literally feel it, in different parts of my body. And there was a particular bad spot on the back here. That's where she has arthritis really badly. And there was a bad spot there, and she'd been hit very hard on this area. There was an injury here, and someone had hit her very hard with a blunt instrument. And so... It wasn't she, us. No, <laughs> definitely wasn't you, darling. This was before she came to you. They should never have to experience this or go through it. And she's so happy, and it makes me so happy because there are many people like us all here, or animal lovers, and out there too, that really love animals. And they love them because they're our children in fur clothes. Some pets are rescued, and others go through an adoption process, like the one you'll see now. At the Washington Animal Rescue League in Washington, D.C., I had the pleasure to meet Stuart and Rosemary while they were in the process of adopting a new puppy. After we looked at many of the dogs and puppies, Stuart and Rosemary narrowed down their choices to Bruno, Blue, and Patty. He had worms really badly, and he, he, he had to, he, he was starving, he had to go in bins and he was hungry for a long time. So he's very happy to be here because he's fed well. But you often find when they've had a start like that that they do, they're so appreciative of a good home. And, um, yeah, he was out on his own. He was very frightened at times, very lonely. And dogs need to be with people. So it's wonderful. You're going to grow up with a dog, as all humans should do. And look at this beautiful dog. Yeah, I can see that. So let him come to us, and he will. He will. Hello, beautiful. Let me get down. You'll feel better if I'm on more level. Let me get down here. She's then been very emotionally upset at one time. Terribly upset. Somebody went away from her. Somebody went away from her, she's telling me. So she had someone she loved that went away from her. And she loved them very much. And will you love her like that? Because they, And she didn't know. So let me tell her that. Okay. Let me tell her it's okay. But she was a very good dog with her other previous mama, she calls her, my other mama. And she was very good. And she'd love to come to your home, she's telling me. She seems to be very sort of stable, very gentle. She hasn't lived with a baby before. She hasn't lived with a baby before. Hello, Paddy, you're beautiful, aren't you? Look. Yeah. 
able to walk. He said he loves running and walking. Yeah, he said he loves running and walking. He said he's a very good runner and he'd love to come and run with you. <laughs> After I did a reading on each of the dogs, it became very clear to me which was the right one for them, and I decided to write down my choice. Leaning towards one of them more than the other. I'm leaning against Bruno. Seemed like a very nice puppy, but he scared Elizabeth. Yes, but that's good. You see, already you're doing it. And how about you felt the same way? Oh, yeah, definitely Bruno.
you think of Betty Foster? When she comes into your home, it hits her nostrils. Her nostrils are very sensitive. Some animals this doesn't affect, others it does, and she happens to be very sensitive to it. But she, the reason she's been chewing, because she tells me she doesn't chew like that when she's with you, so the reason she's been chewing and has done all this damage is because She's been chewing and chewing to try and make her insides feel so much better because that is so nausea. She gets nausea, she gets sick, she gets literally physically ill. Have you noticed she's physically ill when she comes uh, to you? Severe vomiting and yes, diarrhea. Yes, because she cannot. It's making her very sick and it's the poison and the fumes. And we have to be so careful, Sharon, what we use with our animals in the home. And I would advise you to go home to clean everything, you're going to have to really get down on your hands and knees now, darling, and do your scrubbing and your rinsing and everywhere. Don't use any sprays, any cleaners. This is affecting her very much. Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. Oh, darling, it's fine. You look good girl. Good girl. And it's making her sick. And the reason she's been chewing is because she, she's going for anything and everything to eat. It doesn't matter what it is to make her feel better. So you've got to completely get your every cleaning product out of your house. And the only way you'll do it is with vinegar and water. Because this is affecting her blood. I can feel my blood right now. I can feel a weakness right through my blood. Has anything been diagnosed with her blood at all? I think she may have a tick-related disease. They're just they're shooting gunshot right now because they're not sure what's going on with her. They did have to give it to uh, plasma transfusion. Oh, take it to the emergency room. She got yeah, because everything is made. It's to do with the, the, the it's to do with poison. She, it's a vacuum of poisons your home, and many people don't realize because the dog scent and she, their scent is so much stronger, so very much stronger than any human scent. People don't often realize that this is what's going on. They can't smell it, or it smells nice to them. And what smells nice to us? does not smell nice to the animal. And what smells nice to the animal can smell absolutely revolting to us. But that's how animals are. And that is what the problem is with her. You just, and you will know, because if you get all those scents out of your house, don't have your house sprayed with anything, and just clean, clean, rinse, rinse, and then take her back in there and see. Okay. Because that is what has caused her whole problem. Because this dog was healthy when she went before she went to your house. There was nothing wrong with her. Yeah. And she's telling me that it wasn't till it hit. It's not that she doesn't love you. It's not that she doesn't love your family. She just doesn't like the stink in your house. Get <laughs> that stink right out. We don't want any more stinks like that, darling, do we? No, 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 no. And thank you, sweet. Oh, she's thanking me. Thanking me. Uh, my pleasure, darling. My pleasure. <laughs> to tell you, mm, you're just so... These humans know nothing, do they? <laughs> they don't know anything, darling, do they? Thank you for... They're so smart, the animal kingdom. You know, I've never met a stupid dog, but I've met lots of stupid humans. <laughs> I have to say that. Yes, darling. So if you go back, darling, you take her. And where is the ball you played with her? With, uh, behind the chair right now. Well, could you get it out? She loves that. She said, thank you, thank you for buying the board for her. And she hopes she hasn't offended you because she said you were all very upset when this happened. And you love her very much. She's yes, telling me you love her very much. So, darling, don't be so house proud. Just get the old vinegar and water. Don't clean up so often. She's fine. She'll be fine. Okay. But you have a really good job. And I feel it's a new house because I'm smelling paint as well. So how long have you have a brand new house? <laughs> you see, there's all those smells left over. You don't smell them, but she smells them. And she's been smelling them for a long time. So open the windows. Yes, yeah, clean, get right. your old man doing it as well, darling. Get him in. Get him in. Get him rubbing the old floors and get it done. And put everyone to work. And this dog will come back there and you'll have no more trouble and she won't be sick again. I know so. I know so. Thank you. <laughs> and you know so too, darling. <laughs> Some behavioral problems are not emotional but medical. Could that apply to your pet? Next. I used to have a second daughter. When she asked where the other daughter was, I was definitely bored. I was just coming to see a pet psychic today. I was quite skeptical that after seeing her in action, it was amazing. You are watching the pet psychic on Animal Planet. This is Rothwell. Yeah, this
Mrs. <coughs> Sonia Fitzpatrick is a Virgo. My favorite psychic. This is all owned by Animal Planet. I don't own it, but Animal Planet does. So don't get mad at me because I'm recording this. It's rare footage, and they don't sell it. So everyone should see it since it was on TV for free. So it should be on YouTube. There we go. Thing that's ever happened in her life. 
I met many of the other animals inside the hospital, and they all had their own interesting stories to tell me. This wonderful spirit is here because her mother is physically unable to care for her. Can I tell her that, that she's not, because she seems to, she doesn't want to go anywhere. It's like, where am I going? Oh, you're breaking my heart. What can I tell her? Because she's like, where am I going? What are they going to do with me? Oh, you're breaking my heart. Yeah, what are they going to do with me? Where am I going? It's like, please, please don't send me anywhere. I can't take anymore. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I, I've had so much I can't take anymore. She's at her, she's had so much upset in her life, in her little life, that it's like, please, please, what are they doing to me now? What can I tell her? I may find her a home, but she's been with me for almost eight she's months. Really upset about really and we upset. love her. We love that she dog. Wants to stay. She doesn't want to go anywhere. Well, if that's the case, then she can definitely stay. I'm just talking to this one, and this one is telling me that he was rescued. That's amazing because I rescued him when he was six months old through Poodle Rescue. Yeah. Um, does he have a problem with his ear? Because I'm feeling it because one of them's had a problem with the ear. It was him. They're both talking together. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like that, darling. Yeah. He doesn't like that. Oh, he really does love to tell me everything. Is it going to be okay? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you, yes. Mm. And when did you look at one's teeth? Because something with the teeth. Her? Yeah, she said her teeth aren't good. Is she, is she giving you any indication of where they're not good? She said they're not good. And there's something at the right top up here, somewhere that she had a bit of trouble. She's telling me up here. Uh -huh. Well, she's having her teeth cleaned next Monday, and while we do that, we're going to give her a good oral exam, because I think she does have a dental problem. Yes, she does. Up here, on the right side. Up here. Did you think at one time that he wouldn't live too long? Because he's telling me that you keep thinking that he's sick and he's not going to live too long. And he wants to know where, where is, is he going to be staying in his physical body, or is he, how long do you think he's got, he's asking me. He has diabetes, mm -hmm. and he gets insulin twice a day, injections, mm -hmm. and we just diagnosed him with a cardiac or a heart problem. Mm -hmm. What's the heart he's asking me? Well, I'm taking him to the cardiologist Wednesday morning. Let me tell him what the heart is. Tell him, and also tell him to relax Wednesday morning for his ultrasound when I take him. Okay, because he's saying, watch the heart, because we know what the heart is, but they don't know, but you seem to think he's not going to be much longer for this world, and he's happy to go on to the spirit world, because he sees him in the spirit world. Even with the best possible care, our animal friends pass on. Next, we will visit the spirit world. Don't blink. We'll return to the pet psychic after this break on Animal Planet. I'm fast forwarding through the commercials. you to know 
that she's absolutely fine. Oh, that's great. And she said that you were expecting her to live a bit longer. Yes. And she said her time had come, and um, she's often around you. She's often around you. And she said you've been painting, darling. So what have you been doing in your house recently? I painted the whole house. She loves it. <laughs> Delightful. So they come and visit us. So although they're in the spirit world, it's only the physical body that has gone. Their spirit and their energy is still able to come to us and does. And they're always visiting us. And she says you set her around you. I do. I feel her spirit. Yes. And that's exactly right because there's no death there's no death they just go on and she's very happy in the spirit world okay. oh this one oh very close with this one it's dead um she said you still haven't got over her yet darling and she says she's around you an awful lot and she wants you to know that she comes back she comes back to see you but You've been grieving for a long time. When did she pass over, sweetheart? In April. Yeah, very recent. And um, she said she also slept on the bed. She said you couldn't go to sleep without her. And she said she was always very close to you. And she wants you to know that she's just fine. They reincarnate sometimes, our pets. And our pets, this one, we're going to come back to you. And you needn't worry. What the pet your your dog is telling me that you worry about you might get the right one or not. I do worry. And you've been thinking about it, but you you've been thinking about it, but you're not quite ready yet and you're worried about you might just get the wrong dog if you go out to look. You won't have to look. It'll all be arranged and you'll get the right dog. So don't it'll happen when the time is right. So don't worry because that spirit will be there for you and her spirit will come back again. Oh, beautiful pushcat. And this is her collar. She said she had a bit of breathing before she went over. Breathing, it was difficult for her she, <sighs> to breathe. She also tells me that you have breathing problems. Yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she says you have breathing problems. But she said that um, she also was glad to pass from her physical body. But she's telling me also that she was with a lady as well that she loved very much and she was with that lady for a little while before she was with you so is that your wife that's my wife yes because she said that she came and but she's been